What's up my friends, this is Coach John here at CrossFit Liberate. Today is Monday, August 17th, and I'm bringing you another at-home workout. This one's called Over and Out. So we're mixing some odd object weightlifting with some lateral burpees. We have a descending ladder of reps with our odd object weightlifting. And a fair amount of reps today, we have 90 reps of our ground to overhead and 60 reps of our burpees. So going pretty high volume today. And we're looking for this workout to take somewhere between 10 and 18 minutes. All right, looking at our warm up for over and out. We're gonna go two rounds today, 30 seconds each, starting with some lateral squats. Here, I wanna make sure that you keep your heels down on that leg that is squatting all the way down. We'll grab a PVC or a large towel for some pass-throughs. Try to keep the arms nice and straight here. Next, inchworm to push up. Then we'll go back to that PVC or large towel and hit some overhead squats. Make sure that object is back behind the ears and above that head. And then we'll wrap up each round with active Spider-Man stretch. For our mobility work, we're gonna hit a chest stretch, 30 seconds per side. You can do this either laying on the floor or up against a wall or a door jam. And then from there, we'll hit a wrist stretch, 30 seconds with those fingers pointing straight ahead and then 30 seconds with those fingers pointing directly at your knees. All right, let's take a close look at over and out. So here we have a 20, 18, 16, 14, 12, 10 rep scheme of odd object ground to overhead. And after each round, you'll complete 10 lateral burpees over your odd object. So this descending ladder of reps of that odd object weightlifting mixed with lateral burpees is what we'll be up to in today's workout. We'll go 90 reps total on the ground overhead and 60 reps total of those lateral burpees. So we're working with a fairly high rep count. We're looking for this workout to take somewhere between 10 and 18 minutes. With your odd object ground to overhead, we're going from the floor to overhead in one continuous motion. You can pause at the shoulders on the way down, but not on the way up. Choose a light to moderate weight that allows you to move big sets without long rest breaks, aiming to complete each round of reps here in no more than two sets. If you're on the fence, lighter weights are better as they'll keep you moving. For those lateral burpees over the odd object, you can jump up or step up off the floor. There's no need to reach full extension when jumping over the object. Jump over the object with two feet for that RX. And then as always, further movement subs and variations are in the video description below. All right, our focus for our movement today for this workout, starting with the odd object ground to overhead, is gonna be our elbow position. In the overhead position of the ground to overhead movement, we're looking for a straight arm with the elbow by the ear. This stacked position allows you to support the weight from the strongest possible position, which is an externally rotated shoulder. On the lateral burpees over the odd object, let's get those feet back. While the ground to overheads are the big movement of the workout, we can be more efficient on the lateral burpees with a simple cue of kicking the feet back when jumping over the odd object. If your athletes are gonna bring their knees up to jump over the object, you're gonna to have to move the whole weight of the lower body. If instead you kick the feet back, you don't have to jump as high and only have to lift the weight of the foot and the shin. Feet back, not knees up. So looking at some strategy for this workout. With our burpees, that's a movement that we know that we're gonna be able to just continue to move on. Whereas that's not the case with our odd object ground to overhead. So with your burpees, try to move at a pace on those that really supports a better pace on that odd object weightlifting. You'll wanna move at a pace on your burpees that allows you to finish that last burpee and within five seconds, get right onto that odd object and start cycling those reps. If you really feel confident with this odd object movement, you can look to speed up your burpees a little bit more, knowing you'll still have a lot in the tank for that odd object movement. And then within these big sets on that odd object, Let's look to try to hold on to two sets for each of those bigger sets. So, and then within that break that you're giving yourself within that big set, try to minimize it to about 10 seconds or less, 
just to eliminate as much rest time as we can or we're not moving and not scoring reps. All right, y'all, make sure you get after this workout. As always with CrossFit, our goal is to bring intensity to our work. That's what yields results. And then I also wanna make sure that you're tracking your results in some way, whether it's a notebook or an app like SugarWad. We wanna be tracking our results. That's how we know we're getting fitter. And then if you plan on coming back to the gym, cannot wait to see you back here in person, coach you in real life.